Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to week 26. Uh, we're half a year into these. Uh, we're going to get started here with Pop and Swap New Attorney of Skeletor. Um, just kind of using the New Attorney of Parts on the 2000X Skeletor base. Um, There's a different rendition of uh, Grayskull in the back. I figure kind of match with New Attorney because you can switch up the ideas and stuff. Um, Nothing really to the picture, just kind of showing off the pop and swap. Um, pretty cool. Uh, wanted to use this head because um, I was displaying the other one as a, like a classic Skeletor look. So, yeah, um, there he is. Up next, we got another um, reel showing off um, kind of like how I did with the jungle dial. This is a extreme set uh, setup. See some characters just kind of hanging out, little target dummy. So light coming through the gate there. Yeah. Um, so sometimes I do shots on the extreme sets. Um, I tend to use the jungle dial dial a little bit more, but this is a nice little interior of Grayskull setup. Um, use it from time to time. Um, it's all just like cardboard uh, pop up if you haven't mess with the extreme sets they're actually pretty damn nice um i have a little trouble sometimes i've mentioned before where like the light will reflect off the cardboard if i don't get it just right but all in all um if you're looking for a nice easy um little backdrop the extreme sets are really nice to use and then up next got a shot of avenger just kind of blasting off screen uh, a little bit of a black light shining on him to get some of that red to pop a little bit more. Um, he's in that extreme set that was set up. Uh, the D&D figures weren't quite as nice as I wanted them to be, but I am glad to have them in the collection. Uh, don't use them that often. Um, mostly because uh, all the, like when they were coming out, there's all the QC issues, so like, kind of don't like to move them around too much um but i haven't had any issues with them so you'll see some more shots of them too i do actually use them but not as much as like my motu or some of my other um uh, toys but i mean they're decent figures they could have been better but they're decent and then up next we're back on the jungle dio um and got tarna um versus Tears Flare, and they got their mounts, uh, she's shooting some fire, and this is back on the Jungle Dio, um, these are these little grass plate um, things that I get at the dollar store, you got a battle mountain in the back, tapestry in the back, I really like the way the tapestry looks in this shot, um, kind of like light peeking through, um, like all these different vines and stuff, and then this is uh, that little treehouse playset that I picked up, um, at the Dollar Tree. Uh, it's a pretty cool shot. Um, I like how it turned out. Um, lighting on the dragon here looks pretty good. The flame effect's pretty cool. Um, one of the nice things about like these uh, grass plates, um, you can kind of hook feet in um, to kind of secure them. Uh, they have like a little grid on the bottom, so they're actually kind of nice for getting figures to stand, although sometimes their feet are a little obscured by the grass um yeah i like this picture um it's a fun setup these are cool toys i wish the tarna was a little bit better but um loose collector has gotten a lot better um recently this is one of their early ones but the obvious is uh rad like i love this thing i'm really glad to get those two in the collection then up next, um, Toy Mercs was doing a Balance Mercs. Um, there's a couple shots of that. Uh, where he just balance toys on other toys. And I figured, well, why not just have He-Man holding up a couple of the ladies. Uh, use the Queen's Blade figures here again. Uh, it's on the Jungle Dio. I've got some little uh, aquarium plants. I should have tucked this one in a little bit better because you can see its base. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of basic little shot of He-Man holding up the ladies. 
Up next, another shot of the Max. I wanted him coming out of his cardboard box. It's pretty similar to the other uh, setup I had. Uh, it's from the other angle. This is that glitter paper again to use street. Uh, and then this is the little plastic wall um, thing that I have. It's like little plastic garden walls. Um, just to kind of be like brick in the background. They're a little too big um, for the figures. I don't really use them as much anymore. But yeah, this was just like a little tiny cardboard box. And I figured I'd have him coming out of it. Like, yeah, he's homeless and there he was. Um, yeah, not much to this shot, um, uh, but I like the Max, and, um, the other Max shot I did got quite a bit of likes, so I figured I'd throw them up there again. Um, cool toy. Still, like, one of my favorites of my old toys that I still have from when I was collecting before. I'd love a new figure with these proportions, as I've said before, um, but with, like, good articulation. But, I just always like the Max. So there he is. Up next, um, got an old Diablo figure um, versus a Tyrael. Tyrael is a NECA um, from the Heroes of the Storm line. Diablo was an old, I don't know what company did these, but it was um, Blizzard. Limited articulation, but it's a cool looking sculpt. Uh, you can see that this is very dirty. I should have cleaned him up more before that picture. And then I just kind of put him in like a, you know, lava exploding background. Here's one of those feet. <laughs> you can see the toes in this one. <sighs> I need to quit pointing that out. But uh, I use those little um, stone feet a lot for ground. Uh, I just wanted to have, because like, I don't want you to just see the shelf um, that the TV's on behind it, so I'll stack those up so that there's some kind of ground terrain there. And then he's on a stand flying in. I just had Diablo grabbing his sword. Uh, it's an all right shot. Um, the posability on both those figures was kind of annoying to even get them looking like they were fighting. Uh, action shots are still something I kind of struggle with. Um, uh, I'm getting better at it. Uh, I'm actually going to post one um, today. Uh, so if you check my Instagram, you'll see another action shot where it looks a little bit more like they're in a battle instead of just kind of standing next to each other like this one. But, you know, this was uh, a year ago. So if you live, you learn, take more shots. And then up next, we've got... Uh, this shot right here of Vivi. I just took a screenshot from uh, Final Fantasy IX and put it in the background. This is the game he's from. Uh, nothing really to the shot. Um, again, this is one of those little like foot um, things. Looks a little bit better here because you can't tell that it is. It actually blended pretty seamlessly with the background on that one. I try to color match. I have a couple different uh, versions of those stone feet. So. Sometimes they're in like a dirt color, sometimes they're in like a stone color. Um, I just try to match what I can to the picture I'm using as the background or something that would look somewhat relevant to it. Um, up next, this was uh, another one of the Balance um, Mercs shots. This one was actually kind of a pain. Um, getting Mikey to sit on his, um, like he's jumping off this rock and like using uh, He-Man shield to like jump at him. Uh, these are the 2012 Ninja Turtles. I didn't have any weapons for him, so they got the Masters of the Universe weapons. I was doing Motu crossovers before Mattel and Playmates. Uh, this is on the jungle, jungle dial again. There's that, um, tree, um, house thing there's the battle mountain and then another tapestry in the back um, a couple of those different grass plates I put a rock in the foreground to kind of have like a little bit of something else there some more aquarium plants scattered around these are those little plants that come with um, like little dinosaur sets uh, sometimes I use them to just kind of splash a little extra color around um, they're really weird looking if you look at them but um, uh, sometimes in the pictures they get a pretty cool effect. Uh, I actually like this shot a lot. Uh, that was such a pain to get him to balance that way. 
Uh, Leo's on a stand that's hidden. Um, and it's kind of like he's jumping at him. And then the Raph and Donnie are just kind of, you know, standing. But this shot right here, um, it took me forever to get him to balance. And he fell quite a few times. You can see I actually uh, wrapped a little bit of the vine from that um, playset around him to kind of get him a little bit uh, more stable. Um, it's that little green piece right there. But all in all, um, I really like this shot. I still really like this shot. Uh, colors are nice and crisp. And uh, looks like a fun little time. This is actually one of the action poses where I think um, I pulled it off a little bit better than some others. I think really the secret is getting him like tighter and not really worrying about like oh can you see this character um, perfectly because honestly like as long as you know who it is and what's going on like your mind's gonna be like oh that's he man or you know that's you'll you'll figure it out um, and I think a lot of times I'm like well I need to be able to see his face and like you don't always need to be able to um, so that was one of the things that I still kind of struggle with, but I'm still working on. Uh, all in all, uh, this is probably my favorite shot. Well, actually, no, I think there's one other shot that I really like this week. Uh, we'll see what else we got left. Yeah, there's one other shot coming up that I really like. Um, and then this shot is uh, just a couple of the dead frames from uh, the Golden Axe. Uh, it's got that. Uh, sunset lamp shining in on them. Um, there's the Battle Mountain. Tapestry this time is a little bit um, different. Um, it's got kind of some decaying plant matter. and It's like, um, it's kind of hard to describe. There's like a life coming around. Like it's all plants, but it's like dead area and then like life sprouting around it. Uh, it's a cool tapestry. I actually don't use it that much. Because the other ones tend to blend a little bit better, but I wanted something kind of spooky and creepy in the background here, so I went with that one instead. Um, and instead of using the grass plates on this one, I'm just using a strip of carpet. You can get little like strips of carpet at the dollar store, um, and they make for decent little terrain. Like if you look at it, you're like, oh, that is car or that is carpet, but I mean. You know, in the picture, you're going to be focusing on these guys. So, like, the other stuff is just kind of to dress it out a little bit. Like I said, I don't want to show the shelf, so I aligned it with the carpet. Um, that's cool. These are fun little toys. Um, I have quite a bit of little, like, random um, stuff. Uh, you'll see these guys pop back up again from time to time. But it's nice to have a little army of the dead and it's growing and growing and growing I've gotten a lot more skeleton figures lately and lots more to come when mythic legion comes out and then this one is probably my other uh this is probably my favorite shot of the the week i just gotten the troll in um it's on the jungle dio um it's got the troll like right in he-man's face i got that sunset lamp uh, kind of shining through the back this is again on the uh, jungle dio. Um, I've kind of made some cliffs out of the feet back here, and there's like a little uh, bonfire and campsite uh, going on up there. Uh, you can't really tell. Uh, there's some other plants and stuff. The only thing I don't like is you can see the bottom of that shelf. I've mentioned a few times that eventually I do add sky to it, but it's not in place there. It's not too bad because the troll's taking up most of the shot. Um, and like I was saying with like the action shots, like not be, not having to worry about like oh like you know like show He Man's face like to actually put it behind his shoulder, uh, kind of brings the shot together a little more. You see the sword, blonde hair. It's like okay, that's the snake armor He Man, or at the very least, it's some warrior facing off against the giant monster. So, yeah. That's the last shot of the week. Uh, I like it quite a bit. This troll's super fun. Um, I will use him again in quite a few more shots. And probably use him again uh, pretty soon. Because I had a couple ideas. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, no new followers this week, but haven't lost any either. So that's always good. Uh, thank you guys very much for checking out my stuff. If you like it, comment, subscribe. Um... 
hit the like button. If you don't like it, give me the thumbs down. Tell me why you didn't like it. That's fine too. Uh, we're a half a year in, so I've been on YouTube now for half a year, and um, I've been doing toy photography for a year and a half. And this is where I was at a year ago. Uh, so check me out on Instagram. I post every day. You'll see uh, what the stuff I'm doing now is like uh, versus to what the stuff I was doing a year ago. Sometimes it's better than others. Uh, still, you know, working, still plugging away. Um, still having fun with it. That's the important part. All right. I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. You have a great week, and I will see you next time.